What's up, world? And everybody in it? It's the guy, Big John. Back again. But I ain't never go nowhere. Just haven't seen y'all in a while, but it's all good. Just hopped off the bus. Just got off work, man. About to head into my other job, you did. But yeah, man. Hopefully everybody out there is staying safe. Staying productive. Staying active. Getting to it. Mapping out that plan and working towards what you have written down, man. Uh, as far as me, man, grinding per usual, man. Getting to it. Trying to figure out some ways, man. I've been a whip. You did. Take this motherfucking mask off, man. But yeah, like I said, man. Hopefully everybody is being productive, being safe out there, man. Um, I ain't going to be on here for too long. It's another episode of Life Talks. If you didn't know that, you did. If you didn't know that, this is an episode, another episode of Life Talks. And if you haven't, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Go to Eating Everything. Search Eating Everything on the YouTube. And it'll pop right up. Got tons of content, man. Tons of content. We're going to add this. Go like and subscribe this shit, man. It's real, real player, real playeristic shit going on over here, you dig? But, um, like I said, I ain't going to be on here too long. I uh, just wanted to hop on here real quick. Guys, police want to go do whatever they go do, but um, yeah, man. Um, FYI, man, to the entrepreneurs out there, you gonna have days where you don't want to do it, man. Go on, you definitely gonna have days where you don't want to do it, and what I mean by don't want to do it is. Actually putting the grind in for that day, man. For instance, yesterday was that day, one of those days for me. Man. Definitely one of those days for me, for sure. But you know what? I still got to get it, man. Still got to get it. And it was rough. It was rough getting to it, but I still had to do it, man. There's no way around it. You're going to have those days where it's like, man, for me yesterday, was I was fucking tired, man. I was tired as hell. Damn near falling asleep after I got off my first job. See, um... I work a full-time job, and I'm also a serial entrepreneur. So, it's a lot of, a lot of energy and a lot of um, face value that I have to be in front of, man, to uh, kick off um, my brands and my businesses. So, sometimes... It, uh, that's my wife for tell me I'm doing too much. And sometimes I do feel like I'm doing too much. But it's all part of the process. So, man, it took everything in me uh, not to cancel the pop-up shop. But I was thinking to myself, like, look, this is what you signed up for, man. Nobody give a fuck about how tired you is, um, how much energy you don't have. Get your ass in there and do your do your shit, and go on. Go in there and do your shit. Keep it moving. So that's exactly what I did, man. That's exactly what I did. And it's a good thing I didn't cancel the pop up shop because. I wouldn't have got any sales as I did yesterday. 
got sales on the DoorDash app, which was wonderful, man. I'm proud of that, man. We um, we getting more and more acclimated with the uh, delivery service platforms, man. So I'm, I'm I'm super 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 proud of that, man. And they also uh, at the Looking Cafe, they had an open mic event. Uh, and so it was people in there and selling rice bowls left and right. So I got to salute myself for making that executive decision to not cancel the pop-up shop because I was tired. But you're going to have to do that. As, as being an entrepreneur, you got to show face. You got to show face, man. Unless you got an operation or a business that runs without you being there. And that's another thing, too, that needs to be thought about, too. How do you want your business to operate? Because um, you're going to have those days and you're going to have those times where you don't want to be in attendance. So you have to be able to find ways that you're able to make money without you being there unless you want to be want to have a business that operates like that where you have to be front and center so it's a lot to think about um It's a, it's a lot to think about. It's a lot. It's a lot to do when you're an entrepreneur. But to me, it's worth it because this is yours. It's, it's all yours. And some people, they they can't. I, not not to say that they can't, but it'll be too much on their plate for them to do it. built for this shit, man. I'm built for it. I knew even before starting this business what it, um, the amount of time and effort and work that was going to be required to be put in for it to get to a official um, nationwide brand. I, I already knew that, so all this is nothing new to me. I've always been a hustler. Always been a grinder. So it's not new. Uh, but yesterday was definitely a test, man. It was definitely a test, and I'm glad that I was able to um, put that tire shit to the side and stick to the business. I'm proud of myself of that. How we just going to keep it going, man. But to my, my people out there that's uh, thinking about starting a business or starting a brand and starting a brand, these are things that you have to think about because you're going you're going to get tired out. It's almost impossible not to tire, tire yourself out. But it's all part of the process, man. So... You got to ask yourself, are you willing to go through with this process? Are you willing to um, have that that time where um, you're, you're tired or um, you don't have as much energy as you need to to complete what you got in front of you? And then also, too, you have to know when to take that time for yourself. Because you're not going to be able to be on the go, on the go all the time. You have to actually get rest, take care of yourself, take care of your body. Your body is the most important thing, man, when you're... Uh, an entrepreneur, man, you have to be able to function and take care of yourself so you can be able to take care of your business. So, it's a lot to think about, man. But to 
the entrepreneurs out there already, man. Keep doing y'all's thing. I salute y'all to the highest extent. And keep it going. Keep putting those products out there. Keep putting it in their faces, man. Especially them people that didn't believe in you. Put it in their face every chance you get. And make them pay. Ain't nothing for free around here. Make a, make they ass pay. And to the people out there that's on their way to entrepreneurship, just think about those things, man, and be prepared and ready to work. Nothing happens without hard work, man. This is nothing different. Actually, you're going to probably have to work even harder because you're starting something from the ground all the way up. There's a lot of things that you're going to have to do yourself that you can't rely on other people to do, especially if you want your, want your shit to be official. You ever, If you ever heard that saying, nothing to get done right unless you do it, that is a true statement. You got to be ready and willing to do those things. But that's all, man. That's it. That's all. Good to see y'all. I know y'all probably ain't seen me in a while, but I'm still here. I'm still here. We getting it. It's Liddy. We making it happen, man. We ain't letting up not one bit. Pull up to the pop-up shop, Lincoln Cafe, 6 to 10, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Got rice bowls on deck. Come check us out. We there. Where you at? Yes, sir. But y'all stay safe out there. Stay productive. Stay active. Keep that mindset strong. I'll talk to y'all later, man. Next episode. Adios, amigos.